I was sharing this last night, like sometimes when it comes to giving testimonies and people are going around the room and they're sharing their crazy testimonies of the amazing things that God has done in their life and he's turned them around and he's transformed them and he's rescued them from crazy things. And it gets to me, I sometimes have felt embarrassed because I'm like, well, how did you come to know the Lord, Christine? I've always known him. Like, I don't really have a story to tell when it comes to that. And it kind of makes me shy away from it sometimes. I'm like, don't, I, I know this is story time, but I don't have a story. But I realized, isn't that what we want all our children to be able to say? And I think that as, as the children's pastor here, that's what I want to see in each of our kids that come through this church, that they have come in at a young age and they have come into relationship with Christ so that no matter what happens to them, no matter what sorrows they come across, no matter what trials they face, no matter who dies in their life, no matter who betrays them, that they know that they have heard the voice of God and they know that they have been in relationship with God and they can't deny it. There was one time when I was a teenager that I doubted. I don't think it was for very long. And I was like, is this all just because this is something my parents have taught me about? But I couldn't deny it. How could I? Because I've met him yes. in the secret place and I know his voice, and so I couldn't, I couldn't walk away. And isn't that what we want to see in the kids of this generation coming up, in this younger generation, that no matter what they will face, no matter what people will tell them, no matter what people try to convince them, the arguments, the logic, the whatever it is, that they'll be like, okay, but I know that I've met him. And that brings me to, I just want to add real fast, <laughs> shameless plug, but it's not really a plug. If you want to be a part of that, if you want to be a part of raising the next generation, the younger generation, man, we need you back there. Yeah. Go for it. And we're, one of the things in my heart is um, we do these activations with them where, especially the older ones, um, we do these activations where they're learning to hear the voice of God. You know, we'll ask them a question and they draw the picture that they see or they write down what they hear him saying. And um, lots of things like that. We practice prophecy. We practice praying for each other. I mean, even the little, little ones are praying for one another that the pain would go <laughs> in Jesus' name. You know, and we're, we're teaching them to walk in the kingdom of God as part of the kingdom of God. Because over there, that's the body of God too. And if you want to be a part of that, and if you love to teach Bible stories, they need to know the word of God too. I mean, we're looking for people to give two hours a month. At least. We'd love people to be praying. Please be praying. I want to see a move of God back there. Just like I want to see a move of God in here. Anyway, 